well documented what's happened over the past couple of years. And uh, so I don't need to address any of that other than to say that whatever comes out of our investigation, we're going to move forward in a positive manner. We're going to uh, recruit well. We're going to get good players. And we're going to be competitive. For, for me, the number one thing when I got the job was to try to keep the guys intact that were already here. Basically, at the end of June, it's too late to recruit anyone. So we, uh, I tried really hard to keep the guys that were here intact as a, as a roster. Uh, I'm sure that you know, my style or whatever I teach is different than what Tim taught. At the same time, I think our guys have responded well to it. I'm still learning a lot about our, our players. I think we've got some, some guys that you know, definitely will help us who are going to sit out the first seven or eight games. That would be Leonard Washington and Mike Garrity. Both those guys are ineligible to play right off, and both are major parts of our team. Uh, I think our, the strength of our team you know, is probably in a couple areas. Dwight Lewis is a guy that you know, is going to be a number one option for us and a guy that we, we really are going to be counting on heavily. Our group is you know, a, a group that I think is, is going to play hard. We're going to have to be good defensively and rebound the basketball well. And we have to be resilient because it's when, you have, when you've lost a recruiting class and three guys to the pros and a couple other guys at graduation, you're basically counting on the returning group and regardless of their experience, they're going to have to step up into roles that they haven't had before, including Dwight, who has now become a number one option. So all those guys are in a position where they're going to have to do more than they've ever done before. And I think not, not so much is it a great challenge for them, it's a great opportunity. And that's the way they should be looking at it. And I think they are. And I think they're confident in their abilities. And it's, uh, you know, we'll know as we, as we move along and get closer to, uh, to our season and to the Pac-10 season. But we do know the challenges ahead, and uh, you know we feel like we're up to them.